I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on conversion of units. In this video, we will talk about English standard measurements of capacity where gallons is a standard unit. Now, one quarter of a gallon is called quart. So, one fourth of a gallon is equal to quart. And half of quart is equal to pint. So that is how these units are related. Right? So we will now see how to work with these units with the help of two examples. I have taken these examples to satisfy most of my viewers who wants to also learn how to work with these units, right? So let's look into the questions here. Question number one. My car can hold 12 gallons of gasoline. How much gasoline was in the tank if it takes 8 gallons, 1 pint, to fill it? So here we'll see how to do subtraction. right so the difference we have to find in question number two eight gallons one pint of gasoline is equally distributed in five containers how much gasoline is in each container so that means division so in this video we are going to also understand how are these related uh, units related and how do we perform the operation of subtraction and division? That should be interesting, right? You can always pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with the very first question, which is, My car can hold 12 gallons of gasoline. How much gasoline is in the tank? If it takes 8 gallons, 1 pin to fill it, right? So, basically, I have 12 gallons, right? So, let me write here 12 gallons. And if I need to find how much gas was there, then I have to take away how much I filled in. Well, I filled in 8 gallons, so I have to take away 8 gallons and 1 pin. Well, in between gallons and pint, we have quart also. So let me write one pint here, right? Okay. So when I take this away, I will know what was or how much was the gas in the car when I filled the tank. Well, now, we don't have anything over here for pint, so I'll have to borrow from gallons. Okay, how do we do that? Let us see. We know that one gallon is equal to four quart. Correct. So if I borrow from gallons one gallon, I will get four quart. But I need pins. Well, one quart is equal to two pint. So that should help me, right? So we are going to use this conversion factor. So let us rewrite properly aligning these terms so that we can do the subtraction. So what we will do here is that we'll borrow from 12 one gallon. So if I borrow, it becomes 11 gallons here and I get one quart. Let me write quart as QT, rather four quarts, right? So 11 gallons and four quarts. I got one gallon out, so I get four quarts. Now from four quarts, I have to borrow again. So that becomes three quarts, right? And that one quart is equal to two pins. So we get two pins here. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually borrow 
and work with such questions. Is that clear? So we had 12 gallons. We borrowed one gallon. One gallon is four quarts. So I wrote four quarts here. Well, we want to subtract a pint. So we borrowed one quart, which is two pints, right? So one quart is two pints. So I wrote two pints, and now we can do the subtraction. Correct? So what do we get? From two pints, if we take away one, we're left with one pin. Now from three quarts, there is no quart here, so we get three quarts. Okay? And as far as the gallons are concerned, from 11, if I take away 8, we get 3 gallons. So clearly, now we have our answer that to begin with, we had 3 gallons, 3 quart, and 1 pint of gasoline in the car. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we will do it. Now here is a practice question for you, right? So, so we'll say question 1B. What I like you to do is, let's say we have 16 gallons of gas. And let's say you want to take away from this 9 gallons, 1 quart, and 1 pint. So this is a practice question for you. You can actually solve this and write down your answer. Is that clear? Now let's look into the second question. Question number two. 18 gallons, one pint of gasoline is equally distributed in five containers. How much gasoline is in each container? So we need to divide, right? So this is requiring division so we have to divide what we have by five so let's try to see now and understand how to do this division what we have here is 18 gallons and one pint so we will leave some space for quart and write down one pint here okay we need to divide this by five since there are five containers okay. so five goes three times so we get three here five times three is 15 so we are left with three gallons so we have three gallons here so each container will have at least three gallons and we have a three gallon remainder also now how can I continue my division? Well, we know one gallon is equal to four quarts. That means three gallons will be equal to 12 quarts, right? So I can now write this three gallons over here as 12 quarts, right? So we write this as 12 quarts and continue our division, right? So, so 5 goes 2 times, so we get, now this is in quarts, right? And what we get here is 5 times 2 is 10 and we are left with 2. Now these two are 2 quarts, correct? We need to convert that to pints. We already have one pin there, right? Okay. Now, as far as the quarts are concerned, we know one quart is equal to two pint. So, we are two quarts here. So, two quarts should be equal to four pint, right? So, we are going to add four pint to this. Since we already have two quarts, right? So, we have in all five pints. Do you understand? Okay, so we could divide this 5 one time, 1 pin, and we get 5, and we get a remainder of 0. Is that clear to you? That is how we could do the division. And we get our answer. The answer here is, each container 
will have three gallons, two quarts, and one pint of gasoline. Is that clear? So that is how you could actually do the division using gallons, quarts, and pints. It's kind of complicated, but I hope you understand the concept. So the remainder, whatever you get, needs to be converted to another lower form of the unit, right? So get more number, and then continue the division, and get your answer. It's similar to working with like hours, minutes, and seconds, right? In hours, minutes, and seconds, you do a similar thing. So follow the same steps. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.